you a question. Trial and improvement. In the latest GCSE exam there was a question much like this and it was worth four marks. So let's see whether we can help you get that four marks in the next exam. Okay, the question was x cubed plus 7x equals 53. Note that the question wanted the answer to one decimal place. Well, we'll have to find the answer to two decimal places and then round. So, first of all, let's try 3.5. We were given that the answer was between 3 and 4. Alright, well, with the aid of a calculator, 3.5 cubed, 42.88. Plus 3.5 times 7, 24.5, equals, tap that away, 67.38. Right, that's too much. Now, what shall we try? Try 3.3. Again, tap the buttons in the calculator. 3.3 cubed is 35.94. Plus 7 times 3.3, 23.1, that equals 59.04. Again, that's too much. What shall we try now? Shall we try 3.2? Okay, try 3.2. 3.2 cubed is 32.77. Plus 7 times 3.2 is 22.4. That equals 55.17. Again, we're looking for 53, so that's too much. Right, now what shall we try? 3.1? Okay, we'll try 3.1. 3.1 cubed is 29. 0 0.80 plus 3.1 times 7, 21.7. The total of that is 51.5. That's too little. Okay then, we know that the answer is now between 3.1 and 3.2. We're looking for 53, remember? Somewhere in between. Okay, so we will try 3.15. That's smack bracket in between 3.1 and 3.2. Okay then, 3.15 cubed is 31.26. Plus 3.15 times 7 is 22.05. Total of that is... 53.31. Now, that's too much. So, we now know that the answer is somewhere between 3.1 and 3.15. But the question is only asking for the answer to one decimal place. Therefore, if it's lower than 3.15, then we would be bounding down anyway, so the correct answer is 3.1.